Okay, I'm um, back. Let's see. So this will save the map, but you know what? All we're doing is changing the decoration of it right now. It doesn't actually. Uh, how do I put? It's not changing that tile value, so it thinks it's a pellet regardless of what it looks like. So I need to tell it that any spot that I click is going to become uh, a wall. Now, you know, it's yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. When I click, by default, I'm going to assume that I don't ever click the wrong spot. Yeah, which I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, by default, the tile becomes one, which is a wall. Because I'm going to leave all the other spots there. They're all fine. Um, I probably should put in some way of choosing which ones are the larger spots. But you know what? I'll figure that out later, or I'll just manually type that in somewhere else. So, let's see. Save it, in case something horribly wrong. Now, I should be able to go through here. I think that's the bottom of the map. I hope so. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, so I'm off by 1. Well, that's fun. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> just bump over a little bit. I don't think I got a a nineteenth one in there. Hopefully the screen's uh big enough to get the last one in. Yeah, whatever. It's ugly, but it'll work. Um Seems like I'm missing two. Yeah I am. Oh, I never said auto size. Alright, bear me here. This needs to have Auto size is true. That's much better. Okay, run the program. Top corner is going to look like this. Bottom corner is going to look like this. Uh, pretty much, I want to match the little one that I grabbed from the internet. Right here. So, you know. This is going to take me a little bit of time. But I'm going to just... Since this really doesn't have much to do with making the game itself, I think I'm going to uh, cheat and pause the camera in order to finish this thing off. I mean, I'm sure you can see how this would go. It's just... Uh, do I not have a picture for that? Oh, that just figures. Okay, well, this can be a little slow. As you could see, I should have had a few more uh, picture variations for these tiles because I don't have one that works right here. But, you know, it's easy enough to for somebody else to just add that in. Um, wait, I should have that. I think I swapped these two. These are supposed to be rotated. I'm going to do that right now. Save the map first. Oh, this will show you how the loading would work, I guess. Now that we have a map, I'm going to slap that into form load. Where I say input as number one, we're going to input the tiles. Set a print. So when I load, everything's already filled in for me. Now, if I go to, uh, where is it at? My data one. I'm going to zoom in here. It's a 30 by 30. I wrote this, this guy 90 degrees. And this one here, I will also rotate by 90 degrees. Somehow I messed that up before. Save it. Cut and paste the entire thing into my picture too. As you saw, it changed down there at the bottom, hopefully. And now I can use those graphics. So I'm going to take the time, and at some point I'm going to have to slide this picture out of the way in order to continue doing the map. But I'm going to pause this now, probably eat some food while I'm setting up this map, and when I come back, um, we'll keep going. How much do I have? Oh, I never set the timer. 